Good job, Vitaly. That's a nice thing. We got him. It's a nice fish. Good morning, everyone. Sergi Babek here. You're hooked for nice meal. I'm very excited. It's early in the morning and we are ready to go on Baker's Lake to catch sockeye salmon. I heard they bite in really good, so I'm excited to catch one. So see you guys in the water. Make sure everything is touched. Oh, I forgot my coffee cup. Gotta get my coffee cup. What am I gonna do without my coffee? Gotta have coffee. Fish on. That's awesome. Cockney? Yeah, it's a good size of a cockney. Sockeye. Ah, the boca looks good. Is that a boca? <laughs> You can go faster now. Oh, oh that's a good size. Cheek, wow! Cheek, cheek. Oh, but was. Think so? Oh, yeah. Like Rubo. You see how big it was? Oh, yeah. Big belly. Show us the bottom out. This could have been a bad Wow! But oh, wow! 20 oh. pound line. Oh, man. 20 pound line. Show me the bottom of your tooth, huh? Right here, no. It's like this. Yeah, fish on. Make sure you hide the net from it. Yeah. Scoop when you're ready. Right there, it's here. Oh, it's go, go, nice go, 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 that's a monster. That's a big boy. <laughs> Matthew. <laughs> That's a nice fish right That's there. That's a monster, man. Wow. A beauty. Wow. Where's the net? Where's the net? Behind the net. Yes, sir. Just go deep. But don't show it the net yet. A 
up och show over med den lite. Hey, take this one. Right, right, right. There you go. So it's good. Hey, I meant the forward net. Because it's always in the way. Alright. Hold this so it doesn't jump out. Super cool thing, flash it. That's a nice fish. Good job, Vitaly. That's a nice fish. We got him. It's a nice fish. Good boy. Or girl. That's big. That's a good, good girl. Our fishing coming to an end. What a beautiful morning. We had so much fun. It was unbelievable. We got three sockeyes. We lost a few, but overall it was awesome. Look at this view surround me uh, around this lake. It's just unbelievable. It's so beautiful. If you haven't been here to Baker's Lake, you should come and enjoy this view. So that's all we got for you. See you guys at our kitchen. Hey guys, I want to explain what kind of a setup I use here at Baker's Lake. I use Okuma Kokoni 8 foot fishing rod, same rod what I use for Kokoni. It worked just fine for sockeye salmon. My uh, reel is Diva Lexa 100, uh, 20 pound braided line. And uh, on the end, uh, at the beginning here of my braided line, I use slider with the carabiner for my for my ca cannibal my cannibal is eight ounces then i got bumper leader it's about 24 inches but you can use uh, 36 to 24 inches then i got a dodger 
Mac is my favorite dodger. You can see that it has multiple settings here. If you use your side rod for left or right, if you use right, you switch uh, one hole from the center to the right. If you use left side, you can switch one hole from the center to the left and it's gonna push your dodger away from, from the boat. And it works really, really good. My leader anywhere from eight inches to 12 inches and this is the gear that I made myself. Uh, bright red hook and a little bit darker red. I got three pink uh, beads and one red. And the blade, blade I use moon jelly color. It works really, really good. I really like this setup. Here's my Dodgers. This is the colors I like to use. Uh, I got some multiple greens, lighter and darker green, uh, moon jelly color, pink. And I also got a red one. It's uh, hooked up on my downrigger and also chrome ones work really good and uh, they're about eight inches long. I prefer use a little bit uh, bigger ones, eight inches. This is a smaller one, this is about uh, five and a half to six inches. It still works pretty good. For my downriggers, I use 12 pound ball. Uh, I usually let my line on the fishing pole out with the dodger and the gear about 45 feet then I clip it and uh, in the morning I usually lower down to about 35 feet every hour I lower down 10 more feet so in about uh, 9 o'clock in the morning I'm, I'm up about uh, 50 to 60 feet deep and it works just fine this is my setup here what I use at Baker's Lake if you have any comments suggestions please leave them down below thank you Hello everyone, so we are back from Baker Lake fishing. We had a great time. What a view, it's so beautiful out there. We caught three sockeye salmon, and today I wanna show you fast and easy grilling recipe. We'll be grilling sockeye salmon on a pellet grill. Let's get started. Look at this beautiful fish. Now I'm gonna fillet it. I got it earlier. All it's left is to fillet it, so I'm gonna Take out the head <clears throat> and just fillet it. Rest my knife on a carcass and glide my knife all the way to the back of the tail. And look at that, look at the meat, wow. Same thing with this one here against the carcass and second fillet. And that's the remaining carcass and a little bit of a meat. You can reuse it for soup or even pan fry it. I'll take out the fin. We don't need this fin. Okay, let's see. And also, this fin has got to go. And no. And we're going to remove this rib cage. Just knife on an angle. And what I do, press it down and just kind of lift up the knife a little bit so you can remove the ribs without any meat. And this is the ribs right there, barely any meat. We got, we missed a few rib bones. Let me smooth this down a little bit. Yeah, we missed a few of them. All we have left, a little bit of a pin bones. Look like this fish got bruised a little bit. But it's okay, it's not gonna taste any different. Same thing on this one. Knife under the rib cage and just press it down like that. And lift the knife up a little bit and look at the smooth cut. Yep. Just run the fingers and see if you feel anything. So we got pin bones we're gonna take out 
and a little bit of a fat right here and that skin I can also remove that just like that to kind of clean up a little bit and let's take out the pin bones I start seasoning my fish I can a pet dry it make sure all of the moisture is out I'm sure some of the moisture is gonna be in no matter what but as much as we can just pet it dry garlic salt I'm gonna add some of this Cabela Sriracha onion rub for a little kick. Whoa, I don't want that much, just like that. That's good. Second fish, we're gonna go a little bit different. We're gonna use garlic salt. A little bit of a black pepper. add some mayonnaise and tomato sauce, three tablespoons of tomato sauce and two tablespoons of mayonnaise. I'm gonna combine them together and mix them really good. Brush some of this beautiful sauce on our fish. And last but not least, we're gonna add some onion rings. Our Green Mountain Pellet Grill preheated on 300 degrees. I'm gonna place our fish in the grill. In about 20 minutes, I'm gonna baste our fish with the garlicky butter. Also, see you guys in twenty minutes. <sighs> Looks pretty good. Down. I want to baste it so some of that oil also go under the skin.
be shooting for internal temperature about 140 degrees. some of this garlic on top of the fish. Looking good. some of this garlic. On top of our fish. Yeah, just like that. Look at the beauty. Looks really good. It's all done. It's ready to come off. Moment of truth here. Look at this fish. It looks beautiful. Let's dig in. Let's taste it. So I'm going to move this fish out of the way and I'm going to start. Let's see. A good looking piece. Mm. Look at the flakiness. I'm going to get. Mm. And this is the finished product. It looks good, looks beautiful. Look at how flake it is. It's flaking really good. So are this one. Let's try it. I'll go the one with the sriracha seasoning first. Mm. Mm. It's so good. Very juicy, fresh, that sriracha kick. It's awesome. And now we're going to try this, the one with mayo recipe, garlic mayo and a little bit of a tomato sauce. It's even more juicier with the uh, tomato sauce and mayonnaise. Still, just as good. If you depends on you. If you like a little bit of a spices with the kick, use the sriracha recipe. If you want a little bit moist, not as spicy. I don't. I wouldn't say this is too spicy, but it has that little kick. Overall, it's so good. It's a really good recipe, it's delicious. I like the one with the sriracha uh, seasoning. It has a little bit of a kick. And the one with the uh, mayonnaise and tomato sauce, very juicy. It's also really good 
recipe. If you want to try something different, try this type of recipe and you're not going to go wrong. That's all we got for you guys. Me and my family, we're going to enjoy this really good meal. Please, thumbs up, subscribe, and leave the comments below. Thank you.